this is Stephanie and again you've made your way to my channel Saving with Stephanie J. Let me talk about something that's near and dear to my heart. You know I am a there's Lola. That I am a mama. Um, and so, you know, it's just me here at the house. All my, my little bird has uh, flown the coop and now is married. Um, but, so this is near and dear to my heart because I am a single woman and it's just me. So, a lot of people, uh, my friends have asked, Stephanie, how do you stay safe on YouTube? Don't you worry about, you know, some crazed lunatic you know, come into your house or come into your place of work. And yes, I do. But let me tell you some things I have put in place how to be a successful, hopefully, um, YouTuber, how to safe, how to stay safe doing, doing YouTube. All right. If you have a, a, a decent size um, a subscriber base, you might want to get you a P.O. box. Now we get P.O. boxes for many different reasons. So many times <coughs> our, uh, our subscribers would like to send us something or we would like to send them something and you really need uh, like a return address. You need um, a place to um, that or um, get packages in the mail as a, a PR. Um, and that kind of thing. So you, you, after you get, you know, a few people built up, you probably need to invest in a P.O. box. Now, first off, please don't get that P.O. box in the same city that you live in. You're like, now, Stephanie, that's, that's, that's kind of dumb. Okay, but make it convenient for you. Where I have my P.O. box is not in the same um, city that I live in. Mm -mm. Is it close? Do I go there a bit? Mm. But do I live there? No. So it's easy one for me to get to. I can drive by it to it every day with with no, uh, t not too much fuss. But do I live in that city? Mm -mm. I sure don't. Um, Cause there, you just you just need to separate yourself. And these are ways of separation. Okay, on your Facebook, I have two Facebooks. I have my personal Facebook, <coughs> and then I have the Saving with Stephanie J Facebook page. At not one time, and I, I hope I've not missed any, at one, not one place will you see that Stephanie works at... Mm -mm. Um, I have uh, taken that all off. You know, at the top of your Facebook, it'll say, you know, uh, I'm married, I'm single, it's complicated, I'm in a relationship, whatever. And then it will, uh, say, and I work at, and nah, 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 I'm a nurse, and, and whatever. Um, so, y'all know that, uh, you know, I live in Georgia, okay, but that is not where I practice my nursing at, or maybe it is. Do I work in Georgia? Do I work in Tennessee? You know, that, that's, that uh, people um, can know I'm a nurse without knowing exactly where I work. You would not like a, a hairy-legged man to come and be sitting at your car when you get off at uh, whatever time you get off at, okay? So, you need to keep your social media very um, uh, clean as in what it says, okay? It's another step. Now, when you take a vacation, if you decide that like you're going to Florida, let's pretend whatever day this is, let's say it's Monday. <clears throat> let's say that you're going to leave for Florida next Monday. Do you want to go, oh, my subscribers, I will be going to Florida next Monday on X day. Mm -mm. That does a couple of things. One, that tells somebody that there's nobody at your house. You really don't want that. Lord knows what will be waiting for you when you get home. Do you uh, want everybody to know um, where you are and when you'll be back? Mm -mm. That's, that's, that's something for only your closest friends and family to know. Um, what you can do is batch videos. Y'all know that I do videos on... <coughs> um, Beauty stuff, beauty boxes, coupon and cooking. I try to keep it a, um, a variety, especially uh, now and since I'm not getting out couponing since the whole, yeah, um, let's stay at home kind of thing and not be out. I have to be out at work. 
enough that I don't need I don't want to tell people it's okay to go out and do shopping um, when I don't I don't well my personal opinion don't matter okay so um, and you can talk about it afterwards you know you can post the stories on Instagram afterwards you can uh, post pictures and videos after you get back not a big thing and then you can say I was in Florida last week fine you're you're back you're safe you're good now uh, do I always follow that for myself no because a lot of times I'll go and do a live and people can see I'm in uh, Florida um, and that kind of thing so <clears throat> this is just some steps that uh, for you to know because I break some of them another thing is don't tell when your birthday is I mean don't say the exact day my birthday is on November the 15th of 19 68 65 six, what whatever because if you know somebody's full name and their full birthday you know the month the year and the day there's a lot that you can find out about them with those two pieces of information mm -mm. um so don't don't do that which brings me to the next thing um don't ever say your full name all of my stuff says saving with stephanie j well j could be uh j like j a y it could be um jefferson it could be johnson it could be jensen it could be gentry it well that'd be with a g but you you, you feel me don't ever and especially if you have um, a very odd last name then you're a little bit easier to find so don't um, don't don't throw that last name out there especially your full um, your full name now I, I'm sure I have said um, my full name on here at one point or another so if I have don't don't come for me in the comments and if you know my full name please don't post it below because somebody else might not have picked up on it okay you might want to install <coughs> some cameras okay um i have um cameras that are out my that show out my front door and i can see my mailman come and go i can zoom in um and tell you exactly what's going on i can tell you if he's put mail in my mailbox i can see the ups driver get uh, bring my uh, ipsy box or whatever and get halfway at my yard um, you know 10 or 15 foot from my um, uh, front porch and I can see him chuck it um, whatever I, I can zoom up and see his name I can see if he's got a name tag I can see all kinds of things that you probably don't realize that I can see I can hear my neighbors if they're having a, you know if they're sitting outside having a conversation I, I can hear you the same thing goes through my back door I can see um, I can see a lot of things that happen out my back door which you wouldn't believe I can see a cat walk through my um, so don't you know don't uh, and I will I'm gonna leave a link for that set up below and the the, um, the security camera I use is Nest and so I'll link them below. It's not an affiliate. It's not a code. Uh, nothing. It's Nest, like N-E-S-T. So that kind of gives you an idea about that. And I, I love it. There's no, uh, you know, they don't call the police and stuff like that. It's the same, you know, you can get ring doorbells and that kind of thing. So I really love my Nest system. And then I also have um, the same kind of cameras in my house like pointing at my front door pointing at my back door so and my other door I've got three doors outside exterior door so I can see if somebody comes in I mean it's pointed right at them and they're only maybe about this big you don't notice them but if I'm laying up here in bed not only can does it ding and notify me and you do get in my front door I can see so I can see you coming and um, it's not one of those that um, uh, is only monitored by me okay that's another thing um, so even if you come to my house and throw you know try to steal my nest cam it's too late I done got you alrighty um high traceable information okay I just done an ipsy unboxing 
and right here is my address. Now there's where it says Ipsy, but under my fingers is my address. I'm always really um, careful um, <coughs> when I have that. Uh, I will not show that part of it. Sometimes I may put a piece of tape on it. Usually I just hold my hands over it. Look in the camera before I start to make sure that is covered up. If I am um, filming outside and let's say I accidentally get it, my license plate of my car, uh, a license plate of my daughter's vehicle, of my mom or my dad's or anybody that I know, promise that will be uh, clipped out and or you can on YouTube you can do a little thing in the editing that you can blur it out. Um, your uh, street address. Let's say you are um, doing some sort of video and you're doing some b-roll and you're pulling out of your neighborhood <clears throat> and then you come upon a street sign. N n no, no. Um, don't 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 do that things like that people do not need to know if you want to do something like I'm going to work go to somebody else's neighborhood and <laughs> do you driving through um, and then show all the stuff that you want to do but don't do yours okay because people can find that street signs license plate stuff like that okay let's say um, you know I do I am a nurse and I have Quite a few co-workers uh, that do watch my videos <clears throat> and I'm not going to go to every co-worker and say oh you can't say that we work at blah on your Facebook on your Instagram or whatever <coughs> or on your Twitter so if you do make a comment on my um, on any of my videos just please don't say I work with Stephanie you're more than welcome to say uh, we're acquaintances or we're friends or we're whatever but don't say you know Stephanie and I work together because then somebody can hit on your picture go over and find out where that person works and then ultimately they know where you work because um, I really like to keep my work and my uh, this job and my home life separate. Um, I just do. So if you're ever out in um, and you're filming like the front of your house, d d don't. Um, go to the back. Film the back of your house. It's just too easy if you give people a nice picture um, of the front of your house that people can be driving through uh, the neighborhood and they just have to drive by. They don't have to get out of their vehicle, but they've got a picture of your house and all they do um, is drive up and down the street until they find you. Um, which don't, don't be scared about that. that. That sounds like a threat. They're going to find you. I have been doing YouTube for almost, um, see I think this September the 4th will be three years. Knock on wood, for about two and a half years. I have not had any problem, but I try very hard to take as many precautions as I can because I am single and, um, you know, I do live by myself. If you can, vary your schedule. If you were a 9 to 5 person and you usually leave the house about 8.30 and get home about 5.30, Monday through Friday, um, try your best to vary that schedule. Um, don't talk too much about, oh, I work 9 to 5. Um, don't, you know, I have to leave the house at 8.30. Try to be a little vague. I mean, you can say I work 9 to 5 if you are a 7 to 3 worker. You know, the word 9 to 5 just usually means I work 5 days a week and, you know, on a, um, a banking schedule. But try to vary your leave time and your going home time uh, if you can. Um, always... Um, try to take different roads to and from work, to and from the grocery store, because you just never know. The last thing I want to do is to let you know if you do want to do YouTube. And it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. I get to talk to many, many people. And I even intend to do some meet and greets. Um, uh, depending on what this pandemic says about this summer. But I promise you, I will be very careful when I do it. I have had several, several, several people come up to me in stores, in restaurants, uh, parking lots, 
um, all kinds of different places and go, hey, are you saving with Stephanie J? And it, it, it's very nice, but it's kind of off-putting a little bit because I'm not used to stuff like that. But I love when y'all do it. But does it kind of freak you out for just like a split second? Mm-hmm. Yep, it sure does. Now, the thing to know is you're not, <clears throat> you are not unfindable. <clears throat> Let that sink in a minute. I don't care who you are. I don't care how many steps that you take. You are not unfindable. Um, if you don't believe me, you can Google yourself <clears throat> with just the information that you have put out on the World Wide Web. And you will be able to find you. Just pretend you don't know you and you're looking for somebody else. You can find every doggone thing about you that you want to know. And I'm talking if you were even very careful. There's plenty of, plenty of people that all they do is, that's their job, is they find people. So if you don't think that you could have a subscriber um, find you, whew, you are very mistaken. Um, you can be found. Is your home address private? No. Is your child's name um, and where they work and where they live, is that private? No. There's nothing about anything that's private. And that's a blessing because, um, you know, we need to find out information on different things at different people for different times. But is that a little off-putting? Um, yeah, it is. But in saying you don't have to make it easy for them. Um, so do I think there ever could come a day that I might have problems? Yeah, I'm sure. And I'm a T-tiny YouTuber. T-tiny. 6,000. Um, like to be larger. Of course, everybody would. But you are not unfindable. So, that means that at any given time, you could have a hairy-legged man um, show up on your front door, you know, your front porch. Start ringing your bell, trying to get in. Yeah. You could have somebody sitting on your car when you get off work. Is that possible? Yeah, it is. So, I don't mean to um, dis dis you know, dissuade you um, or try to talk you out of not doing a YouTube channel. I'm just telling you some little things that you can do to remain safe if you decide to have a YouTube channel. So, take it for what you will. Be sure before you hit that play button that you have thought about it You've kind of scanned over your Insta account, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, your everything. And kind of done a little scrub, like you're a private operative. Make it a little bit harder for people to find you. Alrighty. Alrighty. I hope this helps. And I hope this keeps at least one person just a little bit safer. I'm a mom. That's my job. Alrighty. I'll talk to you later. Bye.